Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to mine Caspa on a Windows 10 PC. Before we begin, there is going to be three things that we'll need to mine Caspa. The first one is going to be a wallet. We're going to be using the official Caspa web wallet. The second thing will be a miner. We're going to be using BZ Miner in this case. If you do know a better miner that's out there, let me know in the comments below. And the third thing is going to be a pool. In this video, we'll be using the ACC pool. I'll make sure I link everything that I'm using in the description below. Your feedback, your comments is very valuable. So if you have better miners and better pools, let me know in the comments below. So let's go ahead and start mining Caspa. So I'm over here at the caspa.org website and I'm scrolling down here to the wallet section. You can see that there is multiple wallets that you can have. You have the web wallet, a desktop wallet, and a command line wallet. For the demonstration of this, because I'm gonna be showing you everything that I'm doing, I'm gonna be using a web wallet. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And the first thing that we're gonna do is create a new wallet. So we'll click on that and we're gonna to have to give a password. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in a password here. And once we have that password in, we can click on next and it's gonna give us our recovery C phrase. Now this phrase is something that you want to keep with you in a secure location. You don't wanna provide this to anybody. Uh, this is your single line defense to get your access back to your wallet. So I'm I'm showing you my recovery phrase. You definitely do not want to do this. I'm doing this for demonstration purposes only so you can watch the entire process. Once you have this recorded, you can click on next and it's going to go through some verification here. I just took a quick screen capture with the snipping tool inside Windows, but you actually want to save this in a secure location. I want to know the first word in the phrase, which is chalk. So I'll go over here and select that. And the seventh word is provide. So I'll go ahead and select that in the eighth word. The eighth word is purchase and success. And uh, we'll click on done. The most important thing that we're going to be using in this wallet right now is this receive address. So this receive address we'll be referring to later when we're setting up our miner. This address is important because this is how you're going to receive your Caspa tokens uh, from the mining pool that you've been mining from. Okay, so we have the wallet up and running and we have our address. Now what we're going to do is download the miner. So I'm going to go over to bzminer.com. I've been told by a lot of people that this is the miner to use. If you know of a better mining tool to use besides BZ Miner, let me know in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to download it. So we have the download section right over here. Uh, you can see that there is a Linux version uh, and a Windows version. We're on Windows 10, so I'm going to go ahead and download the Windows version. And it's right over here. It's 32 megs in size. Now, one thing to note when you're in Windows, especially Windows 10, and you're mining, Windows might flag your mining software as potential a virus and we want to make sure that we clear that issue first so on my desktop I'm just gonna be making a new folder and I'm gonna call it mining and I'm gonna add an exception inside Windows security so I'm gonna open up my Windows security folder I'm gonna go into virus and threat protection then I'm gonna scroll all the way down and then I'm gonna go into virus and threat protection settings and click on that and we're gonna scroll all the way down here and we're gonna look for exclusions and we're gonna add and remove an exclusion if you get a prompt, just say yes to that. So I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna select folder. Okay, and here it is, it's in my desktop. So I'm selecting this folder, select folder, and now it's in here. So anything that I extract and put inside this mining folder, it'll be excluded from the Windows security software and it won't get flagged. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that and open up my miner show in folder okay so i'm inside the folder i have the bz miner software right over here i'm just going to drag and drop it and put it into my desktop folder there we go so I'll close that and i'll just double click okay here we go and i'm going to double click on that so here's all the files that we're going to need the most important one is going to be this executable file if you do not have this bzminer.exe and it's missing it might be because windows removed it because it saw it as a threat so you will require that the next important file is going to be the config text right over here and that's the one that we're going to be editing so i'm going to double click on that and it's going to open it up inside notepad and here it is so this might look like a lot but uh, don't get intimidated by it we're not going to actually be using majority of this section we're just going to be focusing up here at the top and we're going to be just modifying some information in here the first thing that we're going to be modifying is the algorithm so inside the quotation marks make sure you don't remove the quotation marks we're going to type in caspa so quote caspa end quote the next part is going to be the wallet again we're not removing any of the quotations we're just going to be removing this section right over here and the wallet address is going to be the one that we have just created right over here uh, we just have to click on this copy button and it's going to take this full string for us including the caspa now we're going to go back into our configuration file and i'm just going to paste that in and there we go again we did not remove the quotations and the next thing that we're going to do is the url section right over here this is where we're going to be indicating the pool that we're going to be using i'm going to go over into this so here is the address that i'm going to be using i'm using acc-pool.pw now this may not be the best one that's out there 
I've seen a lot of people use this. Uh, it seems like they're having more success over here, but if you know something better, please let me know in the comments below, share it with the community, uh, just in case anybody else is watching this video, they could try other options. So we have a bunch of different uh, servers right over here, and you're gonna wanna pick the one that's closest to you. So I'm in Canada, so I'm gonna use a Canadian one over here, but we got a couple of German ones, the South US, uh, Russia, Hong Kong, over there at Buenos Aires. So we're gonna highlight this section right over here. I'm gonna copy it and go back over and right over here, I'm just gonna paste it in. And we also wanna change the pool. So it has 4444. We got the port over here as 16061. So I'm gonna paste that in. And next we have the username. It's not really required, but you can go ahead and type in anything over here. I'll just put in crypto jar. And what we wanna do is go ahead and file and save it. All right, now that we have that saved, we can go ahead and X that out. I'm also gonna go ahead and minimize that and close it out of the way. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is just double click on the BZ Miner executable file double click on it. We'll get a warning message like this. We're just going to say more info, run anyway. We get a message from the firewall that we want to allow access through it. So there we go. And here is the BZ miner. It's up and running and it might take a few seconds for this to start mining, but we'll get some information here. As you can see, it sees my NVIDIA 1660 Ti uh, has some statistical information here. And once we get some blocks, it'll pop up and we'll start mining. Okay, and while it's mining, I'm just gonna open up the folder here. We can go over to the index file. If we go ahead and open that up, we'll get a dashboard. Now this is new, I haven't seen this with many other miners, uh, but it has a built-in dashboard. So then you can go ahead in here and you can see the hash rate of your miner and statistical information as you're up and running. It's a very useful tool so you can see the progress as it goes along and that's how you do it. That's how you mine Caspa on a Windows 10 PC using BZ Miner. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash that like button. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to include any other miners or pools that you might be using for the community to check out. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.